What up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, talking today about Death Stranding, because somebody just decided to leak pretty much the entire game onto the internet, including some very long gameplay clips, some screenshots, and some really in-depth juicy details about the plot. And I'll be honest, I read all of them. I looked at all of it. I could not resist. And my eyes are practically bleeding as to just how insane this game is. So I want to talk about it. I'm going to do my best not to reveal any too much of the weird, more in-depth things, because there are some genuinely amazing surprises in this game. But I want to talk about it because this is, in essence, a very interesting new chapter of Hideo Kojima. I'm a really big fan of, like, Metal Gear Solid. I've played a bunch of Metal Gear Solid games, but my favorite one has always been Peace Walker because this is the game that felt like Hideo Kojima was trying something different. It was much less linear. It had like purposeful repetition. It was a game that tried to sort of open up the door to a new style of Metal Gear. And when I saw all this stuff, this honestly feels like Metal Gear Solid 6 in a way. And the reason I say that is because this definitely tries to expand on the ideas of, like, crazy world building and a universe in peril and just so much, like, crazy technology talk. But I think that it all actually makes sense. The biggest fear I've heard from a lot of people uh, before launch, obviously, because we are still, like, three weeks before release, a lot of people were saying, is Death Stranding just going to be one long movie that doesn't make sense? Well, I've watched a bunch of it, and A, there is, there is some long cutscenes, but not as many as you think. It's actually, like... 75% gameplay, 25% movie. But the other part is, everything I saw makes perfect sense. Like, there is no giant leap in logic. Well, there is one plot twist that is a little bit... Uh, well, I mean, weird. it's weird. There is some stuff that happens that is very, very weird and will probably become some pretty viral memes here in a couple weeks. But I think the biggest thing is... I'm actually impressed as to just how contained this game is. It fits its own style. And honestly, there was that quote going around a while ago of Hideo Kojima saying like, this will not be a shooter game. This will not be an open world game. This is a strand game. I get it now. Uh, honestly, now that I've seen so much of it and gotten to see some of the big stuff that happens, I get it. The thing is, it definitely is trying to not mimic anything else. Uh, I'm a really big fan of movies. I kind of study movies and stuff, and I've noticed that when it comes to film, everybody is constantly trying to play upon each other. Of Somebody does some sort of giant horror scare, so somebody tries to respond with a different style of horror scare. There's like this amplification of methodology, and in a way, I almost think that Hideo Kojima is possibly trying to become the antithesis of that. He's wanting Death Stranding to almost be the anti-video game. Uh, what I mean by that is, there are some major moments in this that, that sort of almost commentate on the idea of the games industry. Which, now that I actually sit here and think about it a little bit longer, Part of that could be because of Konami, of Konami actually pushing him around and messing with his ideas for so many years. Maybe this is just finally his passion project where he can go, hey, like, this is what games should be. Uh, something is... I definitely know that some people are a little bit concerned because, and this is definitely something I was worried about as well, the trailers for this game are bonkers. They don't make any sense for the most part. They're like people peeing in like weird celebrity cameos. Like something I severely disliked was when last year um, they did that big thing over at the Game Awards where Jeff Keighley revealed that he's in the game. Whoa, Jeff Keighley. Uh, but here's the thing. That is not actually, like, a primary part of the game itself. Uh, there are cameos. There are, like, people basically stepping on frame to say hello and then peacing out. But the game actually has a very tight character focus. Everybody kind of has an arc. We see people's, like, motivations. We see people, why they are good or why they are just so... Uh, there are some evil characters in this game that do stuff that is... Whoa, messed up. Uh, but here's the thing. I think that it's actually pretty contained. 
let me just talk about I'm trying not to spoil anything, but I think that there is some stuff in this that's just super, super good. I do want to say a tiny bit about the combat. It does seem like um, doing the shooting sections and stuff, that does seem like something they probably invented pretty far into development, mostly because... It sounds like what you'll have to do is when you're fighting people and stuff, the, the whenever you kill people, it'll like take you to the world of the dead if you don't destroy their body. It, it sounds like there is like a transportation event in the world that can take place. And if this happens, you're in like uh, the BB world. It, it's super weird. The whole bridge baby thing gets really psychedelic throughout the story. And it definitely seems like how much you want to get out of the game is how much you invest. Um, the maps are decently sized. There's only a couple of them, but I think the main thing is whatever you're wanting to find, you can do. It's about doing the chapters, doing the side quests, doing the main story, and if you want, maybe doing the combat. Um, it's definitely got some very bold choices that I don't think anybody but Hideo Kojima would make. Something I think some people are kind of thinking about is, how is this game going to review? I, I bet that it's going to get a lot of like 90s, 95s and stuff. Uh, the thing I'm more curious about is how fans receive it. Because right now, as somebody who actually likes Hideo Kojima's really weird body of work, I think that this is exactly what I wanted. I, I think that Hideo Kojima fans are going to be very, very, very happy because this manages to be such a freeform form project. It really manages to just be so unique. There is a couple things in this game, though, that I think are going to cause a little bit of controversy. Um, but most players aren't even going to notice them. Uh, most people are going to have no idea. This is going to be like a small thing for only the ultra diehard fan base. I'm curious how much more is going to leak. I, I mean, I've seen a lot of this now, but there is some details I wasn't able to witness. There is some like big gaps in there. It sounds like the reviewers, so the people who actually have the game right now and are probably leaking this because they're excited for it, they're only allowed to talk about the game up until chapter 3, which is like the first 20 to 25 hours in the game. Now, there's a lot more after that, but basically the point of that is that when they're releasing their reviews, Hideo Kojima doesn't want to see too much of the crazy stuff get revealed. He doesn't want to have his, his poker hand revealed too early. He doesn't want to see the hand tip. I think that this is a good choice, but I'm curious how those reviews are going to be written. There, There's just such a heavy plot focus to this game. It does sort of remind me of Metal Gear Solid 4, where there is a lot going on. You're probably going to need to beat the game twice to fully understand all the ins and outs. So I'm curious how a bunch of reviewers who only play at one time are actually going to mentally digest that. Oh boy. Um, all right. Well, you can find all this um, if you Google it. There is a lot of it floating around now. Um, just be fair warned, if you seek this stuff out, there is some of this information you can't forget. There is, There are things, there is one major screenshot that's floating around that if you see it, pretty much ruins the game. So ju just be aware of the fact that if you go searching for spoilers, you're gonna find them. Um, thanks for watching. This has just been my random off the cuff thoughts because I had to talk about it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. Oh man, I, I wish I got a leaked copy of it, honestly. Sony or, or somebody, if you want to send me a copy of the game, I'll play it. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.